Go up, top down, I've been racing. Go up, she wild, I'm in dangerous. Go up, my crowd in rotation. Yeah. Yeah. Are you on tin yet? Are you on tin yet? Wait, are you on tin yet? Are you on tin yet? I live on tin. Wait, are you on tin yet? Are you on tin yet? Hold on. Hey, hey, what's, what's up, up kings and queens? queens? It's Theo. And it's A. And it's been a long time, huh? It's mm -hmm. been like a couple of days. Yeah. But today we're about to go ahead and get into this video. So I know y'all watched the Breakfast Club video with 6 ix 9 mm -hmm. What we're going to do, we're going to talk about that a little bit. But first, we're going to react to this video. Him actually doing a post a little thing. Talking about, I told Charlamagne, I'm guessing it's about Yeah, about you know, it being views. like the highest rated one for their channel. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. That way we can have a discussion afterwards. Yo, so I'm in DR right now, right? Yesterday I was in New York. I was doing a Breakfast Club interview. That no, I, I was in I was in New York a day and a half ago. That shit low as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Wait, oh, oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even read it. Audio roof copyright. I thought purposes. you were talking about when he first started talking. Nah, <laughs> my bad, bro. I went read. Oh, I got my glasses off. The interview released yesterday. I told Charlemagne, I told the made no the whole team, MV and NG. I said, this is going to be your most viewed, your most high rated, you know, content on your page. Mm -hmm. Right now, they got 2 million in, one, in 24 hours. I seen that yesterday. Two, probably 2 million plus views. Yeah. Listen, when I say I'm the hottest nigga, I don't lie, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's so cocky. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's just an L all around. Like, yo, I don't talk my shit. I'm I, I'm very I'm very humble about my shit. But when you try to play me, man, go 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 come an L under that. Anything, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I just got done watching it, and it's now at 3.9 million. God so, dang. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was accurate with that for sure. Um, Y'all niggas love some Takashi, huh? Right, we ain't I, listen to his songs yet, so. Yeah, I don't, honestly, I, I didn't really know much about him until I watched the Breakfast Club, Breakfast Club interview, other than like hearing that him and the game have been like beefing or whatever, um, which he discussed in the Breakfast Club interview, yeah. which was kind of entertaining because <laughs> he was like how the game was like 40 years old, talking about he don't take care of his kids, which <laughs> it seems as though the game does take care of his kids, so I think that <laughs> argument was invalid, but he was like, you know, he pointed out like why is why is he really focusing on him exactly. and I don't, I don't understand that either like i don't really see the point of it but i guess like you know if it's gang related obviously i'm really not going to know anything about that it's, it's i guess it's deeper than that yeah um what do you want to talk about dealing with the interview well first of all i was gonna say i don't i never listened to uh takashi 69's music mm -hmm. But I knew about him from DJ Academics, you know, listening to him, all that stuff. So I knew about like these allegations about um, him, uh, you know, you talking about him uh, um, raping this girl yeah. or whatever the allegations is about her being in a dance video or whatever. The right, is. which he addressed also in the Breakfast yeah. Club interview. Yeah, and uh, he addressed about the Trippy uh, Red situation, which I think Trippy Red. Well, you don't, you don't know. Yeah, y'all, y'all be I, like, this bitch old as hell. Because I don't be, I, can, I can't keep up with all these little young rappers, especially when it comes to their names and everything. Like, they'll be like, should be read this or blah, 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 this. And I'm like, who is that? Can you show me a picture? Like, can I hear, like, a snippet of this song? Yeah, blah, but every that. time academics posted something about Trippy Red or something, it was always about him, like, dissing something about Takashi. So it didn't, did, do seem like he's a hater. He being a hater and stuff. Plus was, the boy, like, 13 or 14 years old. And Takashi said that they're on the same record label. So at first they yeah, were like good with They each were other. real cool and with I, each other. He said that they started promoting Trippy Red first, which I guess he didn't have an issue with it. But then now Takashi is starting to have like his shine. And yeah. then I guess that's where the issue arose, where Trippy Red started seeing like negative things about him. Yeah. Which isn't cool because it's like y'all are supposed to be friends and you know you had your shine first. Like you should you should be happy. Like when it comes to friends, like you should always embrace them doing good things instead of like, you know, being negative and attacking them about a situation that um might not have even like occurred like that. So Yeah, that's trippy red. Oh. <laughs> You're so Wait, you said he's like thirteen or something? He's something. What is all that? It's those tattoos on his face? Let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's 18. Oh, he's 18. He's 18. Okay, okay. All right. Damn, I thought he was 13. 
Okay. Um, but um. Well then. We can talk about uh like at the beginning of the uh, Breakfast Club or something like that. We can talk about um the power moves and, the, and stuff that was going yeah, on. Yeah, let's talk about how <laughs> he was doing Charlamagne. Yeah. Because. I could tell he was getting underneath Charlemagne's skin. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that, let me say something about the power move real All right, quick. Go ahead. I was right. gonna say Stand like a, I was gonna say about um like one of the things when DJ Envy wanted to talk about uh the name, like how did he get the name Six Nine? Oh, and he was like, Six, I wanna talk about something else. Yeah, I wanna hear <laughs> then, then Charlemagne was like, What you wanna talk about? And then he was like, What you wanna talk about? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it was yeah, he, he did yeah. he did certain things or how he continuously kept cutting Charlemagne off. The whole time like, and um uh, Oh my oh, bad. Well, yeah, he would um ask Charlemagne would ask him a question or either he would ask him a question and then Charlemagne would try and answer and then he would cut him off mid sentence and say whatever the fuck he felt like yeah. saying or he would switch and turn to Angela and start asking her something. Yeah. Like it was several different things that you could tell. And oh, and he called Charlamagne a boy. Yeah. And Charlamagne was like, "Don't call me no boy." And yeah. he like just had like the shirt. What kind of is that? Like, yeah. oh, I would have been the same way. Don't call me no boy. Yeah, I'd be like, I don't know who you think you're talking to, but I'm not the one. But, <laughs> but, like, um. But um, Angela, you tried to do it. Well, she did a uh, power move at the beginning too. How so? She had uh, told him to uh, spit out the gum. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Even though, and he was like, "Why?" Because you know, I think he sensed that it was a power move too, but. She said, yeah, but because, um, you know, you're chewing in there, they're going to say something about... It'll muffle talking. like the mic or something. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like she was just really trying to pull a power move at I the beginning, so too. Because I feel like I saw people chew gum on the show before, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I mean, I know that, but at the same time, you know... I mean, it's just the way she said it, and then I don't know. Yeah. People gonna be like, "How do? You, well, how would you want her to say it? I don't know, but y'all just gotta check it out for y'all." So. Yeah. Or um, what was it? I guess they were talking about something had ha- some like beef or whatever that had happened where he they they kept saying that he didn't show up to the show, but he said he did show up to the show, but yeah. they didn't wherever it was at they didn't tell the people to leave um because he was about to perform like his set or whatever and. I'm trying to remember what what they exactly stated, but it was a way that they had. Oh, uh, DJ Envy was like, "Well, you know, you was in that city, so um, you know, you can you could get touched or whatever." Because uh, he was he had been talking shit, and yeah. then he was like, "Well, um, how the guards." were scared or something along those lines like to get the people taken off the stage oh it seemed like it was a setup that what you talking about yeah yeah that oh. one and dj Amy was like well you're in the city you could get touched da, da, da. and i was kind of like i mean that shouldn't be the case yeah exactly like, like i get what he was saying because he was like you know you can't be talking shit and then not back it up like i understand that but then it's like at the same time you can't say like just because you're in their city that they can like set you up and like yeah. have you come on the stage probably to essentially get like jumped or something yeah. along those lines and then it was funny because towards the end when he was talking to Charlamagne, he was talking about i mean he was like <laughs> I'm, um, talking about? he's like i'm, I'm the king know. of my city i ain't never you know there's never a video where i've been touched but there's a video of you being touched and, he was <laughs> and like, you run it <laughs> right he was like they hit you in the back of your head and you kept running and Charlamagne was like yeah yeah, they did. And there's also a video of me beat the shit out of somebody. He's like, I ain't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, like, I haven't seen it either. Me neither. <laughs> I seen a video of him getting touched and running yeah, off his shit running. like that. And that then, shit was funny. Then he um had called, oh, I'm about to my hair. He called the, uh, the pastor in there to come and pray for him. Yeah. And but Charlamagne was just trying to be petty the whole interview, and he was like so upset, and you could tell like he lost he lost the battle, man. Yeah. It wasn't even supposed to be a battle, but he lost it. Yeah, he, he got did. his ass whooped. Yeah. Um, DJ Envy, you know he ain't never gonna be a person that's gonna like be trying to stand up and be the person to like dominate yeah, and stuff just like walk that. Walk out of an interview. Yeah, I see Angela. You be. <laughs> <laughs> I see Angela Yee being more dominant than uh, DJ Envy. Yeah, I agree. Um, but was, yeah, but he killed Charlamagne. It was something else that he had said. Oh, where he was like talking about how um, the amount of like views that he's getting off of his songs and how. Versus like, Cardi B's? That's the one you talking well, about? Or? Kind of versus Cardi B, but then I like the fact that he kept saying that, like, you know, that he likes Cardi B music. And basically, he, because that felt like they were trying to pit them against each other. Yeah, they were trying to bait them. And he was like, you know, I'm doing this. This is, this happened on my first mixtape. This happened on her second one. But at the end of the day, like, I still have love for her. And, 
Like he's just like he's focusing on himself, which is yeah. good because people stay trying to put other people to, like against each other. So I like the way he had worded several things when it came to that. Um, well, I was talking about how like they were they were talking about how they don't want him to get hurt and something along those lines and dealing with his music. Mm. And then he was like, "Well, what's what's my what's your favorite song from like?" my album and he was like or do you just not listen to me based off the allegations and he yeah. said that to angela yeah and angela was looking she's like i mean i listen to you i'm from brooklyn uh my favorite song is like one of the, one of the songs he cooler or oh, some shit like yeah. that i like then, i would have told her i ain't never heard no music yeah and then he turned to dj envy and dj envy was like gumbo or some shit like gumbo, that gumbo gumbo and yeah. then he turned to charlotte and charlotte was like i mean i don't know it's just whatever one that you sound like <laughs> like i mean because <laughs> he was like in his feelings and then at the same time he probably just doesn't know the name of the song but i mean i i i actually enjoyed um watching his interview yeah. it was interesting because he he seemed very cool calm and collected mm -hmm. um especially considering some of the questions that they were asking him and then the way they were wording things like he was like talking about how they, he's been called like um a rapist a Mm, faggot, faggot and something else and then i noticed when he had said that then then charlamagne was like what's up with you in the rainbow committee or something like that with and that I, rainbow hat right yeah or some, something hmm. like that. and i was thinking like now charlamagne <laughs> like i know you could have asked that question probably at a different time mm. and especially because i didn't really like the way he asked it because people have always people have said like several times that charlamagne is gay or that he wears makeup yeah. and i'm pretty sure if he was to say something like that and then somebody was like, "What's up with you wearing makeup?" Or "What's up with you being gay?" Then he would have he would have something to say about it. And I don't even think the guy answered him. Nah, he nah, he just kept him. going. But yeah, it was man, it was a good interview. Um, I like the whole. I like his whole like um business. Like I don't know what the way how to word it. Like his business. Like what I mean is like how he make us want to listen to his music like mm -hmm. from the interview like him being cocky as hell him saying he the king of um New York how he um just basically trolling how he getting on the Charlemagne skin and still being calm and stuff he knows what he's doing it's all like him like saying different stuff and like the different like videos and stuff like that he know what he doing and it's working and I just love his old business scheme because it's actually like Work. It's just like, yeah, yeah, successful. That's just, he was talking about that, how he was like saying how um, now that like he's where he wants to be, people are like, you need to change this, you need to change that. Yeah. And he was like, I don't need to change anything because obviously what I've been doing is working for me. And like he said, he is, he's self made. Um, I think he said like no older rapper or whatever like kind of promoted him, yeah. which, is, which is good because that does show that he did it on his own. Um, because yeah, he was talking about how. Cause they were trying to bring up how Cardi B um, got these things as well, but he basically said like Cardi B was um she did a song by herself, but she also was linked up with people like you know like the Migos and G Easy and uh, who else? Uh, Twenty One Savage. She was and like stuff. linked up with them. But I'm talking about he talking about the songs. He talking about oh, the songs, but his music he he saying he by himself. Okay. And everything like that. I was wondering if he meant that like starting off like or like when they were doing the mixtapes or now. Uh, he talking about now. I think. Oh okay. Well yeah, then I agree. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else you want to talk about related to the interview? Mm, not really. No. I'm good. Okay. Well, I would love to hear you all's opinions about the interview and um. How you feel about him as an artist if there's any good songs that you want us to react to or if you just you don't like him as an artist like you know just what it is you let us um, know yeah because <laughs> this is my first time really hearing anything about him like that and um i enjoyed it so don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to our channel as yep. well and um don't forget to be on the lookout for more videos like this to come y'all so. hit that notification bell because a lot of y'all aren't being notified y'all y'all hear that word but yeah yeah. Hit that notification bell and it'll let y'all know every time we drop a video. So we'll see you guys later. See y'all. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Excuse me. Uh Hell. Action also asked if um for a million dollars would I stay with you if your dick was deca decapitated? I don't even know if I can stay alive. I don't know if I I can't even imagine if life without I mean, a dick. Yeah, neither I can't I can't imagine you. Without that, sound like that's I, the only reason you with me. <laughs> no, but it's like a million dollars or leave you, and you know. So I had to take that clean meal. You know yeah. Jeez. Can you stop it? <laughs>
<laughs> you don't even give me a chance to try and get the ball. I'm I realize, not supposed to. I know, but damn, damn. <sighs> you all right, baby? No, and I'm tired of playing this fucking game. Like, you... Like, can we please, can you, can you take the sacrifice and drink the shit? It's ranch and whatever else. It bullies it. Okay, and I've had to drink it three times. <laughs> Seriously, right, Bill, come on. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes.